10 things you need to know before moving to Las Vegas. And that's what I'm talking about today. I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. Thought I'd do something different today. I actually like driving, well, not really driving. <laughs> I don't like driving because I have to drive people around all the time and that gets old. I like driving by myself, that's it. Anyway, I'm out driving. I went and just filmed a video on five reasons to retire to Las Vegas. I thought it'd be interesting and something different to do the 10 things you need to know before you move to Las Vegas, right? People like to come to Vegas and visit and party and check out Sin City, but there's some confusions on some things. Number one, the Strip and downtown are two different things, okay? <laughs> They're not the same thing. The Strip is further away from downtown Las Vegas and downtown Las Vegas is old school. The strip is located in an unincorporated part of Paradise, which, you know, funny that they call it the Las Vegas Strip when technically it's really not in Las Vegas. <laughs> and the strip runs on a four mile stretch on Las Vegas Boulevard and then it eventually meets to downtown Las Vegas. However, they're not the same thing. There's like a couple miles in between them. When I grew up here as a kid, the biggest thing was downtown. Downtown, that's where we hung out. Um, the Strip was really just an afterthought back then. You know, I remember the casinos being very elaborate and very um, kind of like, kind of like 90210, kind of like Hollywood with the big palm trees leading into the casinos. It was beautiful. When I was a kid, I got dumped at a lot of the casinos, like, uh, <laughs> Circus Circus and MGM before it was MGM over where it's at. Now it's Bally's. Is it even Bally's now? I don't know. Can't keep track of this. I'm actually driving in desert shores right now. And the number two thing you need to know about Vegas is that locals rarely go to the Strip. I The first time I went to the Strip was when the C word happened. And that was the first time probably in 10 years. And the only reason I went to it was because everything was shut down. And it was easy for me to um, go up and down the strip without being stuck at those lights on the strip. It could take hours to go on the strip. And why do I want to just go through all of that, right? Who wants to go through all that? Locals, we don't go to the strip rarely unless you want to go party at the clubs, however, or unless you work on the strip. But other than that, we don't go to the strip. I'm going to pull over. So the sound will be better and there's no jingling jangling. And number three, downtown Las Vegas is revitalizing itself in a big way. And we call it DTLV and it's a new hot spot for artists. Um, there's the art district there. And the founder of Zappos, Tony Heisch, recently has invested about $350 million into downtown Las Vegas to revitalize it. It's a really cool place to hang out. Um, the Arts District, and then also there's Container Park down in downtown Las Vegas. It's very hip, very hip vibe, a lot of hipsters. Just awesome place to check out if you, when you're visiting Vegas. Now, if you move to Vegas, your group of friends will increase instantly. Meaning, once they find out you live in Vegas, expect a lot of visitors. So make sure that if you buy a house, don't buy a big one because then they'll want to crash in your house. Make sure you buy a small one so then you can send them to a hotel. <laughs> Just kidding. But believe it, friends from elementary school, junior high, high school, once they find out you moved to Vegas, you better believe it. Your friends are going to be visiting you more often. And number five, summer really isn't that bad here. Okay, yeah, it can get hot, 115 degrees plus sometimes, but there's air conditioning, right? Everywhere you go, there's air conditioning. So if you can grin and bear it for three, four months, then the rest of the year is awesome. So 
Summers aren't as bad as everyone thinks. At least it's not in Phoenix where it can get to 120 degrees or Palm Springs where it gets really, really hot or Lake Havasu. 110, 112 for three months straight. You can handle it, right? And number six, you will enjoy the lower cost of living. Cost of living here is very reasonable. Homes are still kind of reasonable. It's kind of going up, but it's still kind of reasonable. Um, milk is not expensive. You know, groceries are kind of cheap. Gas right now is around the 250, 260 per gallon range. So it's still very reasonable. Plus food, if you're a foodie, we have tons of restaurants um, and it's not that expensive. And number seven, traffic is manageable for now. With all these Californians moving here though, I don't know, it could change things, no. It's still pretty manageable. There's rush hours like between three and six. The spaghetti bowl gets really congested um, in the evenings and then also in the morning during rush hour. But other than that, the traffic here is very manageable. You know, pretty much takes you about 20 minutes to get from one part of the town to another. So it's really not that bad. Sometimes 30 minutes, sometimes 40 minutes. It just depends on where you live in the valley. Number eight, there are a lot of places to go hiking here in Vegas, really. I mean, seriously. Obviously, you have Red Rock Canyon National Conservation, right? And then Mount Charleston. Then there's also Mountain's Edge has a cute mountain. There's Lone Mountain to go hiking. There's Lake Mead. I mean, Valley of Fire, the list can go on and on. So if you like to climb, you like to go hiking, then Vegas is for you. And number nine, they're skiing in Las Vegas. I mean, seriously, did you know that you can go skiing in Las Vegas during the winters? What? Skiing at Mount Charleston and Lee Canyon. Did you know that? We get snow here and it's only about 40 minutes away, 30 minutes away, depending on where you live. Skiing in Las Vegas. We got Lake Mead. We got a lake. We got skiing at Mount Charleston. You got hiking at Red Rock Canyon or Valley of Fire. We got it all, okay? And we're super close to California. Three hours, depending on where you live. Four hours. Arizona. We're centrally located to Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Idaho. Well, that kind of could be a drive, but California. And number 10, our cultural centers are unique, okay? Have you heard of the Mob Museum? What's that all about? Nah, <laughs> it's a good museum to visit. We have a lot of museums. I did a video on the museums. It's a little old, I look a little raunchy, but hey, I did a video on the top 10 museums in Las Vegas. We have a lot of museums. We have the Smith Center, which is full of culture, um, performances there. And then, you know, not just the Mob Museum, the Neon Museum, which is an awesome place to visit where all the retired neon signs go so you know hey vegas is a cool place to live not just visit but live okay <laughs> um, so i hope that these 10 things you need to know before moving to vegas helped you out you know it's kind of quirky i just wanted to get it out there because i love my city i love living in my city i love talking about my city and i hope that if you are seriously thinking about living here this has helped you and if you're thinking about buying, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112 or I posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below. As always, if you like this video, you know what to do, right? Hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend and subscribe to my channel because I love talking about Las Vegas. Not like a, a Las Vegas blog channel, but you know, if you're thinking about relocating here, I can give you tons of reasons why you can move to Vegas or why you should move to Vegas. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today and I will see you guys on the next one.